It was supposed to be a beacon of hope for the community and a route to college for students. You know, the expectations were great uh, from the community because uh, the previous superintendent had convinced everyone that Lincoln High School needed to rise like a phoenix. Minutes from a school board meeting back in 2001 show a lot was expected from Lincoln, a rigorous academic program so that all students were prepared for a four-year college. See, because you're not taking this seriously. I'm taking this seriously. Well, what guy? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Mel Collins is the school's head principal. When he was hired five years ago, he was told by the superintendent that by 2011, 85% of graduating students were expected to complete a four-year college entry curriculum. They wanted safety and they wanted A through G curriculum and they want highly trained and skilled teachers and they wanted and they wanted and they wanted. And they said all of these things would come together and promises were made, of course. You know, how can you say no to a community that had been denied, you know, for so many years? Three months before that four-year deadline, Lincoln is far from achieving that goal. Last year, just 16 percent of the graduating class had the required courses to apply for college. Compare that to another new high school less than 20 miles north in an upper middle class suburb. At Westview High, a school centered between Rancho Penasquitos and Carmel Valley, 78 percent of graduates were college ready last year. What a difference 20 miles can make. At Westview, 8 percent of the students live at or around the poverty line. At Lincoln, it's more than 80 percent. De que me sentía protegida, pues. Angelise Morales and her two daughters live out of one bedroom in a shared apartment about a mile from Lincoln. When her 10th grade daughter Jasmine wasn't showing up at school and failing nearly every subject, the school sent administrator Martha Corrales to find out why. The Corrales translates. Because sometimes there's nothing to eat. Sometimes there's problems because there's a lot of people here, 10 people live here, and it's three bedrooms. The weekend before Corrales' home visit, the family had no food. Corrales and Principal Mel Collins bought groceries for the family and are helping them access community resources. And since that home visit, Jasmine is attending school and getting B's instead of F's. But with more than 2,000 students enrolled and one of the lowest attendance rates in the district, the task of getting students to school one kid at a time can be daunting. Getting them here and then keeping them going, yeah. <laughs> and it's like teenagers move so slow all the time. Before being hired as an administrator at Lincoln High, Martha Corrales worked for the San Diego Unified School District. Her binder of the minutes from old school board meetings is a reminder of the promises made to the community about what a new school would do for them and their children. Promises she made too. I, I, I think about this all the time. I feel very sad. I said, I know I said, because I did all the outreach. So this, this, this here I preached at many community meetings. This, this that is in here, I shared with many parents. And when my parents came to me with concerns about, but is it going to be quality education? I said, yes, it will. And yes, it will. And it's not that we don't have the quality education, it's that our students, many of our students are not prepared for that quality education.